All right, VC, we are back, and uh, we are back this time with another unboxing. And for this one, it's uh, rather appropriate that I'm wearing my uh, Cavern Club t-shirt, because uh, we're talking about an unboxing, a solo effort from one of these artists, this one here. Uh, this is John Lennon's Imagine box set. You've likely seen this in the news, this uh, big box set um, from his 1971 album, Imagine, coming out. A couple of different configurations. They've got a CD box set and also a vinyl uh, box set. Now, the CD Blu-ray box set is quite extensive. The vinyl is a, a double uh, vinyl record. Uh, this is the unboxing of the CD Blu-ray. I didn't uh, pick up the vinyl one. I made down the road, but uh, I decided to go with the with the uh, CD Blu-ray version. So here's the box here that it came in. Simply says John Lennon CD BD Deluxe box. So I've taken it out of the box there, and just taking a little bit of the shrink wrap off. But here it is, just out. John Lennon, imagine. And uh, imagine, John Lennon, the Ultimate Edition, two Blu-rays and four CDs, new 5.1 and stereo remixes, outtakes, elements, live studio mixes, documentary, and interviews. And as you can see, lots of stuff on there. Of course, the original album and much, much more. Yeah, and this album came out in 1971. Uh, just great musicians appearing on this, including George Harrison. Also, Klaus Vorman plays on this. Uh, you've got to Alan White and Jim Keldner, great studio musicians, and co-produced by Phil Spector. Just reading a little bit about it, I didn't know Andy Warhol actually took this photo. This is an Andy Warhol photo. That's uh, very cool. Okay, let's take a look inside. We'll take the shrink wrap off. Yeah, it's got... Uh, Got a nice weight to it, so let's see what's inside. Okay, first off, the book. Uh, you could definitely say this is not a booklet by any stretch. This is definitely a book. Nice hardcover. And I imagine with plenty of information inside. And certainly with this album, um, I guess technically the second solo album, if you exclude uh, the wedding album and unfinished music, uh, this is pretty much his second you know, full-on solo album from 1971. Nice reproductions of the uh, inner sleeve there. But uh, certainly John Lennon, you could say at his best, I mean with a song like Imagine, absolutely beautiful song, and then great biting songs like How Do You Sleep?, uh, solely directed at Paul McCartney, also I Don't Want to Be a Soldier, and then other beautiful songs like Jealous Guy that uh, Brian Ferry later covered, and uh, Rod Stewart I think covered that one too. But uh, just a great variety on the album, John Lennon, some of his songwriting best for sure. Yeah, it looks like some nice essays, reproductions of some of the singles, you get your reel-to-reel -reel tapes there. Nice to see they got lots uh, in the book here. Reproductions of yeah, label sleeves and okay, very nice. Yeah, so lots there. So that is the book. Let's see how the CDs and Blu-ray look inside. Let's take that out. Okay, so very much like that, and then you open it up. Okay, and you got the two Blu-rays there, and then quite simply the four CDs there. But how's nice? It's attractive. There you go. And uh, let's find out what we got here. So, Blu-ray disc one: Imagine the Ultimate Mixes. So you got a 5.1 remix of Imagine the Album, and then you've got singles and extras. Uh, 5.1. You've got Power to the People. Well, baby, please don't go. God Save Us with Bill Elliott on vocal. Do the Oz, God Save Oz with John Lennon vocal, and Happy Christmas War is Over. So we've got uh, related singles. And then you've got Imagine the Quadrasonic Mixes, remastered in quad. And this is on just all on the Blu-ray disc one. And then you've got Imagine the Outtakes. So you've got the demo versions of Imagine, different takes on Crippled Inside, Jealous Guy, I Don't Want to Be a Soldier, Give Me Some Truth, How Do You Sleep, and Oh Yoko. Also different takes on uh, Power to the People and uh, Happy Christmas War is Over. So for Blu-ray disc two, In the Studio and Deeper Listening, you've got the raw studio mixes, extended album versions, 
again, of uh, all the tracks featured on the album. Raw Studio Mixes Outtakes, uh, things I can again imagine, Crippled Inside, Jealous Guy. The Elements Mixes from the Master Multitracks. And then you, so you've got some strings on some of the different tracks, um, focusing on bass, guitar, drums, that sort of thing, so isolating some of the instruments. And then the Evolution Documentary, and this is all on Blu-ray Disc 2, and so you've got a new mix in mono. So there you go, and uh, including Happy Christmas War is Over. And then you've got Imagine, John and Yoko, the Elliot Mitz Interviews. Okay, so... Very nice, and that's just on the first two uh, Blu-ray discs, and then on to the CDs. Uh, CD 1, you've got Imagine the Album and the Ultimate Mixes Disc 1, including singles and extras, and then you've got CD 2, Imagine the Ultimate Mixes Disc 2, uh, carrying on all the outtakes, single outtakes, so pretty much all the music that appears to be on the Blu-ray. And then on the uh, CD3, you've got extended album versions, outtakes. And then CD4, you've got Imagine the Evolution Documentary uh, mono with album tracks that are featured, uh, including, of course, Imagine and pretty much all the songs from the album. So lots of music. Again, alternate takes, different takes. So certainly looking forward to that. That will be some wonderful listening. Now, in terms of uh, John Lennon on vinyl, I don't have Imagine on vinyl, which is to say I'm a little tempted uh, with regards to uh, the re-release of Imagine. They've got it as kind of a double album, and uh, the packaging does look very nice. So I'm tempted, but we shall see about that. I've shown this before. The uh, only John Lennon I have on vinyl is the uh, Greatest Sith Package uh, Shaved Fish, which, of course, does include uh, Imagine and Mind Games, you know, a lot of his big hits uh, through the 70s, so... Enjoy that. Uh, in terms of John Lennon on CD, I've got quite a lot, and especially some of his uh, box sets. I've got the uh, John Lennon box. Now, this is a four CD box that came out in 1990 that's got pretty much all his music uh, through the 70s, late 60s, 70s, you know, the capital years. And it does include uh, the uh, tracks from his uh, last two albums, uh, Milk and Honey and Double Fantasy all on disc four, and what's interesting is that they uh, they cut out all the Yoko Ono songs and just leave the John Lennon songs, so it makes for interesting listening uh, overall. So this is a real bang-for-your-buck kind of box set. Again, came out in 1990. Uh, CDs, uh, individual in there. As I recall, the booklet wasn't too bad. It's uh, lots of pictures, but no essays or analysis, and basically just the song lyrics and uh, reproductions of the uh, singles of the 45s. So not bad, but uh, again, real bang for your buck on this one. And then the last box set that came out, uh, this was in 1998. I can't believe it goes back uh, that far. This was the John Lennon Anthology. And like the other one, overall, a really nice set. You're going to get a lot of... Uh, extra, you know, demos, outtakes, uh, certainly on this one. But I love even the way they have all the John Lennon artwork on here. Really nice set presentation overall. And this is just for the booklet. It's housed in here nicely. And again, you're, with the booklet, you're getting a lot of the lyrics, but you're also getting some essays as well, so some analysis, and lots of the uh, John Lennon artwork that you don't necessarily get on some of the previous uh, releases, that sort of thing. So that's quite nice. And then each uh, CD housed in kind of the same type of format, but you get uh, lots of the artwork. And again, on this one, you're getting all the hits and then some, a lot of, uh, you know, previously unreleased stuff. And it goes, uh, the first one is Ascot, and then you focus New York City, and then you've got The Lost Weekend, and then you've got Dakota, that sort of thing. So, as I say, the uh, the Imagine vinyl, I am a little tempted. I was uh, going through some of my John Lennon CDs, and I would think that one that initially came out on CD that would really warrant a vinyl release would be this one. I don't know if you remember this one. This is John Lennon Acoustic, and basically it's acoustic versions, the demo versions, kind of all put together for a single album, uh, and it really works. You've got Working Class Hero, Love, uh, God, Cold Turkey, Luck of the Irish, John Sinclair, Watching the Wheels, Dear Yoko, Real Love also featured on this, and a nice acoustic version of Imagine, and it's real. But this would really work as a vinyl release. I think that would be highly recommended. So yeah, check that one out. That one came out uh, not 
It didn't, seem, it didn't seem like not that long ago, but that's a 2004 release, but uh, there you go. Okay, so the new John Lennon, Imagine, box set. The album came out in 1971, and we are celebrating it once again. So I look forward to that, and uh, we look forward to chatting once again. Uh, hit like and hit subscribe, and we'll chat again. Take care. Bye-bye.